All right, guys, welcome back to our journey back to 1700. Here's our progress so far. We've played three games in total. One was a loss, but the second two were both victories. And in both of those games, my time dipped below five seconds at least once. And in one of them, it dipped below one second for a brief moment, but we still pulled out the, the victory. So the question for this session where I'm going to play three games is, can we keep this upward trend alive? And can we break 1600 on our way to 1700? All right, let's go. Let's get into it. All right, so we have a 1600 Scandinavian defense. I never quite know what to do here, whether this pawn goes here or uh, if I should put it all the way out. This castle. I normally just play very simply against the Scandinavian. Um, okay, in this case, I think I'm just going to play uh, to d3. I think the pawn might be kind of weak here. So let's play it safe. It is going to be a little hard to find a good square for my queen because. If once they bring a rook to this file, this pawn will be pinned. Uh, but for now, we just play normally. So let's see, I could kick the bishop. I could move some rooks. I think let's just develop the rook. <clears throat> so yeah, like a rook is going to come here and then eventually this x-ray on my queen might be annoying. So I need to be mindful of that. Maybe this knight can come to e4. So I can trade off. Let's do that. I need to be mindful of the time too. I'm still playing a little too slow. <clears throat> like I mentioned in some of the previous, um, in the previous session, I, that's been one of my challenges returning to playing again is that it's harder for me to find a decent move quickly. Whereas I think when I was, okay, yeah, so this X right now, very active. I need to maybe go queen C3 here. What else? Yeah. We also have a little pressure here, but uh, this might be uncomfortable. So we might have to like slide to B3. But I needed to get off this diagonal. So I think our play makes sense. Could also go Bishop to D4. I need to be careful of intermediate moves there, but I don't think this knight has any good jumps or anything, so it's an option. Their bishop is... I think their bishop's stronger than mine. Uh, let's go queen b3. I, I'm also like attacking here. I can play here and then uh, queen c2. I don't know. So I can't take right away because after b6, my bishop is trapped. Um, but if the queen or knight ever move, then that is a vulnerability. And let's go c3 just to blunt the bishop and, and defend the b2 pawn. Okay. So I want to preserve my bishop and not have my pawns doubled. So I think we just drop back uh, to e2. Now the knight could jump in, but I don't think that really accomplishes anything. Oh, and now I am threatening to take here. So let's see if black recognizes that. Got my ice water here today. It's um 
It's like 80 degrees and sunny in Santa Monica, California. That's where I'm based currently. And I think we can just take now. I don't see any reason why not. So let's do it. Now, if they play b6, I need to be careful with bishop here. I guess it does work. Actually, it does work because I have the tempo on the queen. Uh, but in general, you need to be careful that they can't um, pin you. So in this case, it works out, but that's one thing to be mindful of. Okay, well, actually, now I have this very nice skewer. So let's let's skewer and I should probably move a little well, we're doing okay on time, but uh I think the only way I really lose this now is on time, so um I need to watch out for mates mating patterns here, but once I get bishop f3, I'm pretty solid. Let's actually just uh should I do that right away? Maybe not, because then there's some threats. Uh this pawn is undefended at the moment. Um, I could take here. Actually, yeah, why don't we... Uh, we don't even get a rick over. I think it's okay. Let's let's take... Okay, I need to move faster. I have 30 seconds. <clears throat> so yeah, this is a move. The queen defends. And then this rick can come in, which is maybe a little bit dangerous, but I'm also okay with just simplifying here. I'm up. Um, I'm up four, four points now, so solid advantage. I just need to move swiftly and not uh, lose on time and not blunder. So my opponent is, okay, take, um, I think we leave the, uh, okay, okay, yeah, no, let's go here. I don't know if that's my best move. Maybe I should try to, uh, I probably should try to trade off the knight. I still can, though. Um, let's try to trade off the knight and just simplify a little bit. Because this knight jumping in creates a lot of mating threats. So yeah, let's, let's just take... The rook coming in is also a little bit scary. I need to also also watch out for back rank. So maybe maybe I play h3 soon. Uh, actually, g3 is stronger here because of the, because they have a dark squared bishop. Uh, let's just take with check. Um, let's just double up. I'm I'm putting a piece here to defend this pawn. And let's go here now. Ooh, I need to watch out for mating threats this way. I have eight seconds. Let's just try to trade. Okay. And we went on time. All right. Let's take a look back at that game briefly. Uh, so Scandinavian, let me maybe turn off the sound effects for you guys. So, um, yeah, pretty standard stuff, I would say. Um, I need to actually do a little bit of studying on this opening because I don't really know the ideas. Like, I don't, I don't know if long term, like these pawns are supposed to push and then try to break things open, or maybe instead I'm supposed to do like a minority attack over here. I'm not really sure. Um, so I need to, I need to study up a little bit, but this all seemed fine. So yeah, we grabbed a, grabbed a pawn and then we got this skewer. So basically we just won from some tactics, uh, and then we played precisely from there. We got rid of black's tricks. So this, this knight coming in. Uh, was going to create some mating threats. Like, for example, if the queen was on uh, g5, which is a pretty reasonable move for them to do soon, uh, then when the knight comes in, this bishop would be pinned. So it's there's there's lots of threats, actually. So 
Uh, I really like that we just traded that off. And here, another little sort of blunder by Black. Um, the reason I did this Rook move is that I know Black might be able to double up, and then this pawn would be weak. So uh, I moved my Rook to e2 so that I would have extra protection there. And I had to make sure that my back rank was also OK. Um, so I double checked that, OK, my Rook is here, and I prevent any back ranks before I played it. So. Um, yeah, and then here, I mean, we're up a rook. So all we have to do now is just let's trade off the queens. Let's get rid of any mating threats. And, um, oh, and we won on time there. So pretty clean win, I would say. Let's do another one.